Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now it's the uh, early hours of the morning. There's my black and white cat Felix. Just wouldn't leave me alone. He's gone out now. And so I'm up. Um, one and a half cups of coffee in. And I've set out our components for this build. For this um, 60 to 100 watt hi-fi power amplifier. And I'm pretty much going to go along with that these are all in the right place, but I've got my, uh, my meter set up here ready just to check it out. Now, the reason why this is taking a bit of time is because I was waiting for these boards to come in. These are thicker boards than the ones that I was using, you know, that I used the first time around. I mean, they're reasonably good boards for prototyping, but this is a, a much, much better, uh, much more rigid. Board, so that's what I've been waiting for. So, right, let's get to it then. So, just remind ourselves of what this is. This is a lovely little amplifier circuit that we're going to build in the same flow as it's laid out. So, the first thing I'm going to do is come in with is our 4.7 microfarad capacitor, ensuring that we get the polarity the right way around. We're going to be connecting to the positive side of this. We're going to start off right in the middle here. And literally just folding that down that way, because from there we're going to go into a 1K resistor. Going to get that in pretty close. Just burn that round nicely. There. there we go. Oh, I think I've managed to wake my neighbour up. I didn't mean to. Um, and that's actually acting as part of a voltage divider with this, another 1K resistor. Now, the nice thing about doing this is you don't have to rush it. You just take your time. And then we're gonna have a 22K resistor. And now we're going into how uh, can I get that without knocking the rest out all over the place? Need a pair of tweezers. There's always a pair of tweezers up here, where are they? There we go. Wrong sort of tweezers, but I'll do. <clears throat> um, yeah, because now we're going into a bit of a... We need to reduce the current using this 22K to our little them through at the moment I'm not even trying to um, uh, you know do anything with the underneath we'll look at that in a moment we'll just get a few components on there first 9100 puff and that's going to bridge across the, uh, the 22k the basic Stick that in the same place if I can't. I'm just gonna, mm, just gonna do that one wider. Whether a lot of this will get to the cut or not, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> And now we want another 22K. And 
because this is going to be what limits the current into our LED. Now, I'm going to move forward. Like I say, I mean, you, you can basically do this exactly the same way as when it is on the schematic there. And I'm just going to be moving this forward the same sort of way. I put that in there like that. I think you might be able to see that that is pretty much the same as this bit here. We've done this bit here so far. So now we're going to get ready to go in for the diode and then go in through our current sink and our differential pair. Okay. Um, so we'll get the diode on because the diode's going to go down to ground. Now, we want to make sure we get this the right way around. So, and if you look inside it, you can see where the big chunk of metal is. That's my eyes normal again. There we go. The big chunk of metal. Uh, and just to confirm that it works, I think I can do that with this meter rather than put it in and solder it and then find out it's got a problem. We just confirm that it works to start off with. So you should see a little bit of glow coming out of this. There we go. I don't know if you just saw that. The, uh, the glow coming out. And of course, doing that, we also get to see that um, which way the anode and cathode is for, sh for sh certain. I'll bring that in a bit closer, actually. I think that can sit like that. And I'm just going to pull this leg out. Mm putting on this leg just to bring it across because this is where we're going to be running our negative path down there and mine is 35 now all right well that's so now we've got those in like that we can turn this over I'm just gonna make sure that's pinned in turn this over and look at what we got seems a bit high so what we don't want to do of course is snip anything that shouldn't be snipped This has got to be connected to this, so we can come in here and just get my neighbours up, and these have got to be snipped into each other. This is the input capacitor, now that, in actual fact, wants to be bent back up and come through here. Possibly. Yep. So this can be snipped to here. This is the input capacitor. This is the first one, K. Okay. That can be snipped to there. Um, what have we got here? This is our uh, this is our hundred puff. So that can be just bent over. Push down there. Because you gotta remember what we're doing here. 
we were using these leads as our tracks. Now, that can be snipped to there. This can be snipped to here. these 200 k's to be our voltage divider and that 22 k there wants to be splayed out like this and these two 1 k's doing that I can snip that one there and I can snip that one there that tiny that 1k down there um, now this just wants to be snipped here this one can just be snipped around about there just enough that it leaves um, enough there to be soldered onto and all these are connecting to each other how they're supposed to be now we don't need so much on there because that's the 100 puff just snip that off now that there I don't know if you can see that that one but that there is ready for soldering should we go in a bit closer oh. sorry about the wobble it's just the way this is set up so yeah so this here now is uh, ready for the first Bit of soldering. It looks pleasant enough, looks tidy enough. So let's get that done, shall we? because um, I've forgotten what they are already. All the snipped up bits. Because I don't want it to go into my feet or the cat's paws. Okay. Um, really, I should put the extractor on doing this this close here but uh, I think just for this little bit oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna leave it besides it's so quiet that'd be a pity to uh, let me just just doing a double check to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be and yes it is I'm not going to solder this part here because I need some movability on there that's it you don't have to do like big long traps or anything on this it's just almost point to point but and of course there's on here anyway uh, the pads there are ready to be soldered so it's soldering it to the pad at the same time uh, I'm just moving this for neatness I don't, even, don't need to move it really I'm just being a bit fuddy duddy Let's go into that 
22k right just trying to go for neatness yep um, I don't think I'm going to solder that there just yet just because we've got the base of our transistors to go on here first um, so I might put the base in there and then solder the lot together but what I will do is just cut that down of a transistor onto the uh, B546 okay so I just leave that like that and we'll stick the transistors in now they're both the B546s so these little things just do a quick check on base emitter and um, Collector, base collector emitter, expected to go something like PCE. Uh, so, I don't know why I always have to do this in the right order, it really doesn't matter. It's just easier when you're counting them one, two, three. That's what they are. Mm. So, this is an MPN, and we have the middle one as the base. We have three as the emitter that makes number one has to be the collector. So we want this to be facing me. We're gonna pull this base out slightly like this, and we're gonna want that at the junction of the 22k and the LED. So I'm gonna put that in. hands to work. There we go. Oh, so there's the first one. Oh, I'm just going to go underneath and just play those legs out apart. And now we also want, <coughs> we just want the same going on with this 1k. Uh, from here, so this one, I think just to keep, I could just make sure there's enough space. Just keep things looking the same, if I can. Put that in like that. And again, just splay these underneath a little tiny bit. to make sure is that the collector of this one connects to the emitter of this one so this will be our uh, collector our emitter, emitter and on this side here is going to be our collector so these two need to be across each other No, I don't even need to. Don't need to um, clip those because that's going to make a nice, nice connection themselves. Uh, these bases. All I want to do is just make sure that they still look pretty, still look nice, and they look pretty. So that wants to be down there. That wants to be down there. You can just clip these. I'm very conscious of having bits of metal uh, just flicked across the place because, like I say, the cats and the little paws. Just a quick bit of 
solder on there. Beautiful. Quick bit of solder on there. And a very quick bit of solder on here. Going on to this diode LED. Okay. So now we have these two in place. Now we want to look and see. We got a uh, <coughs> coming off this collector. We got a uh, 560 uh, resistor. And that's going to take us all the way to the positive 35 volts. Now it doesn't matter whether these tracks run closer this time. Um, because before I went all the way out to the edge, but it doesn't really matter because I'll just run the positive and negative rails down here. I just want to make sure everything fits nicely because it's going to get quite complicated as we get further down. But I've got a funny feeling everything should be okay. I might just go one further down here. It's not going to hurt. of this going to the negative side of the power. does help when you've got a soldering iron that doesn't get too hot and you know it holds its uh, temperature well all right now now the ideal way of putting this other transistor in is so that, is so that these two are actually connected together tied together so they keep the same temperature but that's not as easy to do um, or is it let's have a little look so this is my emitter so now I want to turn this the other way round because oh no I don't no, I don't want to turn it the way around. Ooh, I was nearly going to make a baby. But we're not. So what this has got to do as well, this has got to connect up onto the um, collector side of this 
the emitter of this has got to go to the collector side of this. So I'm going to do this as close as I can and see if it's possible to leave that in such a way that it can be strapped together. Um, so this is the one we're looking for so that this will connect to the emitter side here which is underneath and what we'll do to make sure that works is we'll just make a bend make a bend in it like this and I'll tack that down like that and for that other side for this side we're going to be going straight to ground and our base is going to come out to a 22k and these here can be tied together um, this I'm going to take up at an angle and then just bend it so it actually goes down to ground this way okay I'm just going to nip off the end of that so we don't need that And I'm just going to tap that there for now. Because for me it's a, about neatness as well. And it's got to look nice underneath. Even if it just looks like dots of solder connected. That doesn't matter as long as it looks nice. Okay. So now this wants, uh, this wants a path to ground. And this is where sometimes saving. Some of these things comes in handy because I can just solder that down to there and I've got myself without just having to solder, 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 I've got myself a nice a nice path. So I'm just gonna get rid of the got no idea what my cat's doing. I can hear him banging and clattering around. Uh, he wakes me up every morning. This bird is getting worse, like this morning. He just keeps sticking his face in the morning, purring. And it's very, I can't just shove him off, mate. It's not fair, you know. I just haven't got the heart to do it. Um, but yeah, he can be a right pain in the backside like that. And eventually, because I've woken up, then I just think, oh, I'm going to get up. Right, so I'm just going to. Put this on here now and just get one little tack if I can onto there. Okay. And then I'm just gonna get this transistor just tacked onto there. And I can tap these both together. There we go. I will go across the rest of that, but I'll do that later on in the day when I can put the fan on. And I'm just just tacking. I don't want too much solder fumes going into my brain. I've probably you know messed it up enough already. Okay, right. So this is our uh, 520 going here. This is our 520 going here. Uh, 560s, sorry, resistors. And this is our. Uh, Oh, that's still for the, that is still for the LED. Now that can connect, that can go, or oh, this can come down here now and go on to the end of our LED. How's that gonna look neatest? That goes on to the end of the LED and we just, just tap that there. Now I do, we still got to run because I'll run copper wire down the actual power rails. I'll run copper wire, I'll use the same copper wire is what I'm going to be using for um, for the ground. Because we're going to use star ground. It just means that we're going to pull all the grounds together Okay, so them two are just soldered like that. 
which is all right for now. Just get some, uh, get some uh, set out of the way. So this is our base. Now we're going to come down into a 1K. Oh, that's so. Uh, we can use a little tiny cable tie around these just to keep them together. Okay, it's looking okay so far. Hope you can see that. So I don't know if you can you can't see the computer, can you? Um, what else can I do about that? Not what I can do about that at the moment. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to go into our 22k. Sorry, so we got we got a um, we got a 1k coming off this base here, and then we're going to go onto 100 microfarad capacitor, which is going to go to ground. It's not going to the negative; it's going to the zero part of the ground. So we'll have to burrow a hole in there. So when it comes time to put the cables in for the ground, there's probably about four or five of them. Um, we can just fit it in straight into that. But first of all, let's do that 1K. Now I think this time around I am going to check. This is one of the capacitors I'm going to need. I am going to check that this is a 1K. Just because my eyes aren't as good as what they should be. Or could be, or... Thousand and one ohms, that'll do. One K. Oh, five forty-three in the morning. That's what time it is. If I do this for another hour, and then I'll, then I'll, have, I'll take a break. So this one uh, K is coming off the base of our transistor. And so I can put that through there. So I can just move that out a little bit. Slide it out the way. Again, you know, it's, I'm just trying to go for neatness. Because, uh, oh, I don't know, because I like sitting looking at these things. And then we're going to go into the negative side, the striped side of our capacitor. Might just give that a little bit more space. Okay, so I just fold that across there and just put that there for now. No, it's about one K going into that. Just gonna nip that off there. Get rid of that. I'm gonna nip this off here. But I think I'll keep hold of this nice chunky bit of lead. Mm -hmm. Put that down there. Um, and now, what was I doing with that? That's the 1K, and that 1K is going to go onto our 22K. 22K is easy to identify because they're little tiny things. And that is going to run down all the way down to our output. So I'm going to put that in there. Turn that upside down. So that's going to run all the way down here. Running all the way down to the output now for the zero. Not for the negative, but for, for the zero. So I can now clip that off there, I can clip that off there, I'll leave this side of the uh, of that 1k, and let me just check, uh, no actual fact, that 1k now, because it stops at about 22, that can come off. Then just be tacked up. Okay. Okay. Right. So this is going off to our negative thirty five. It's going off to our positive 35. 
and this is zero. We get in there, we get in there, it's starting to take shape. Starting to take shape. In actual fact, I think I'll put a bit of relief on that. Just have that like that. Okie dokie. Right. Now, we're going to be going into this, making a hole. Um, I'm putting the cable to this, because this is going to zero. This is going to uh, ground. Which is going to be from the center part of the um, so we got positive 35 volts our um, artificial ground zero and then negative 35 volts and we're going to go to go into the zero with this um, not to the out but to the zero this 22k is going to the out output all right now we are now going to set up another voltage divider and our pot, our 2K pot. This is where it can get a little bit complicated, but it's not really that complicated. But it is a little bit. Um, so we'll do the voltage divider part first. So we got two 3.3 k's, so I presume this is a 3.3. I'm just going to check it just to make sure because I've been knocked about a bit. I presume it's a 3.3. Well, this looks more like a 3 k. I'd expect to see 3,300 there. Oh, it's supposed to be 3 k 3. I'll just put that to one side for a moment. It does say 0 0.5 watts on these as well. Um, Alright, well, that's for one percenters. That is more like 3k. That's supposed to be 3.3k. And it did come out at 3.3. Maybe it's because I'm using that. Let's use this one, it's a bit more accurate. Uh, 3.28, that'll do. We're good. Hello, trouble. So, we're going to be coming from our 22k. And we're not going to give this much space. So we've got one 3.3k in there, and then we want to put another 3.3k. I'm pretty sure that's the one I shoved up there. Just check it. The other meter, 3.284, that's it. And then this is going to go down to our negative 35. But we do need a couple of connections in the meantime so really i want a connection here this way it gets a bit complicated so i'm actually going to take that back out here because really i need to be able to make a connection on the other side as well so if i put this here because i need to be able to make a connection here as well with um the base of one of the driving transistors and I need to be able to make a connection in the middle so I'm going to put this one here and then this one's going to go to the negative rail these two will go across each other like that but keeping in mind that there's going to be something going in between these two, which is that base to the uh, driver transistor. Uh, sorry, not the driver transistor, we're going to have 100 microfarads. We're going to have 100 microfarads, and that is going to be going to our output line from this 22K from here to here. 
so we're just gonna make sure that it's the positive side goes on to our that is under microphone so, yeah. uh, so we want the positive sides on our 22k and the negative side is going to go here so just to make sure it's got a bit of space so you can be sat on there nicely it's going to make this the same shape just because of that <laughs> neatness thing what are you doing up there pussycat for everything. Right, I'm going to do it a bit closer because I'm worried about space. And I'll just bend those leads a bit. Now, that is uh, going to be connecting across our divider there. And this one, of course, is just going to be part of the track. Yeah, as we turn them over. before I tack it down beautiful beautiful so I'll push that in when I'm tacking it if I can what have I got to do it now that'll do yep that'll do to be able to come across the top of this see these need to be joined together but this doesn't want to be touching this so we're going to root it around yeah because we don't want that touching we want these two connected oops I'm getting a bit crowded up here So yeah, so we want these two connected. But we don't want that. needs to be rooted around mm. can't really just go over in case it gets pushed down but we can tack it tack it tack it and uh, tack it there and that'll be okay and that'll be okay let me just make sure I'm doing that right better to make doubly sure at this stage, now we need our pot. Um, 
that's came round to there, we can stick on the same line as this. I believe I can put that in about there. I've got a 1k to go in. I might try and go one closer. Right, so let's just get this pot sorted out. need to go onto the first part of this pot, not the wiper, not the middle bit. With this, I just want to make sure that I can connect that on there and it's not going to be in any way going to be touching that. So let's just push that down there and just get that tapped. through the box with my aeroplane in it and my airplane <laughs> honestly um, I found out really that there's hardly any insulation between the floor here and the one downstairs so whenever he's running around and jumping around he makes a right racket downstairs that's not really fair on the lady downstairs but this is what he does to me all through the night every Friday night so what can you do? I can't pin him down or can I? no you can't pin him down right so now we want another BC um, Now this is a weird bit for me because I need to put a 1k on the other side of that and from the from the image where's a little screen just to I'll just show you this see here look this is this is where we are uh, we're here we've done this bit I'm just doing this bit here and then we'll bring this bit in here with the driver but so from on one side of this pot uh, we're going to connect for the emitter on the other side we're connecting to the base and this divider here uh, the 1k and the 2k It's just weird, isn't it? The way it makes it look like you got the three connections there, two going to the, the base when really it's not, but it is. Anyway, it didn't get me too confused last time. I don't know why it's going to be more confused now. Maybe that'd be better if I, can I put that there where you can see that a bit better. Because I've got the one over here, you can't really see that at all, can you? It's not really worth me trying to do that then. Uh, just use it, I've got to point out bits, I suppose. Um, right, yeah. So, this is coming off, and it's going to be going to the base of the other one, so I'm going to actually bend that the other way. Now let's 
let's see about that um, another transistor the last of the small signal so if I remember correctly it's always best to tell you what you know check double check triple check if you need to rather than make a mistake and then try and rectify it once it's been soldered and you're better off just spending a few seconds extra doing it like this uh, clown two three connect to base emitter that's the right way around um, connect to base emitter so I want that going on to the 3.3k, that going to the 1k and the wiper. Right. Well, this is where the 3.3, we're not going to touch that 22. It's going to go across the top of there to here. It's our 3.3. And so I believe that's the 3.3 going across there. I can just put this in here. And the base will go to the wiper. If I put that in pretty tight. Open. So I can't get it really centralised because of the whole situation. But let's just see how that comes out. So I've got to get that middle one to here, and I've got to get this one to here. Can that be done a bit better? Uh, that can actually. I can try and get it in the one next to it will be there yes that's better right so just put that down in place and I can put that down to there that hopefully it's going to reach near enough and it does to there and the collector part wants to go that way. So we're just going to put that down like that. Okay. Right now, tap these on, then I'm going to take a break. build a bridge across there with the solder but it's not proving to be as easy so what I might do oh there we go I've done it there we go yep that's good that is good all right so with that I'm going to take a break now and uh holding on. We're going to stand outside for a few minutes get some fresh air. And clear my mind. <laughs> 